Omar al Bashir, when you met Omar al Bashir, did you tell the ICC in advance? Omar al Bashir, when you met Omar al Bashir, did you tell the ICC in advance before you met Omar al Bashir, indicted for genocide and dark war? And if you didn't, indicted for genocide and dark war? And if you didn't, it's a joke. It's totally scripted. It's like a theater. It's like a theater. He knew in advance who he would call on. Joke. Yeah, thank you so much. Extras. Extras for Antonio Guterres, movie of the week. Disgusting. Disgusting. Seriously. It's like a movie. I know, I, by the way, I now know he didn't say in advance. I have that proof. I know that they did not inform in advance. So, as you can see, Mr. Antonio Gutierrez's spokesman, Stefan Dujaric, had planned in advance exactly who to call on, Al Arabiya, Agence France Presse, and SABC. The question about South Sudan didn't even include that in the name of South Sudan, Antonio Guterres met with genocide indictee Omar al-Bashir, something that even Ban Ki-moon never did. Even Ban Ki-moon didn't do it. Guterres did it and has been unwilling to explain whether he informed the court in advance. And I can now say, not by any help from the ICC or the spokesman's office, that he did not inform the court in advance, that he violated the guidelines, in my view, in my reading of them. And we'll quote them in exact. But it's something that to not answer it and to have these theatrical scam stakeouts with the questions, at least the questioners chosen in advance. Were the questions chosen in advance? You be the judge. The UN is corrupt and it censors the press that asks about the UN's own performance. There's corruption scandals directly here on the second floor where they restrict the press from going, at least inner city press. And he said nothing about the southern Cameroonians refooled to their untimely disappearance in Yaoundé with the connivance, or at least presence, of his deputy, Amina J. Mohammed, who herself refuses to answer questions.